Hello there, welcome to Cartooning with Paul. Today, here with my friend Flat Stanley, we're going to draw Iago from Aladdin. So come on, let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back. With Aladdin out in the theaters right now, I'm kind of pumped for it. I haven't seen it yet. I know you're just gonna be a little disappointed. I will be seeing it. I can't let these things go through the theater without my actually viewing it. But I'm in the mood to draw some Aladdin characters and I don't wanna blow anybody's minds with any human characters yet. But my favorite character's always been Iago. So let's jump into it, huh? And everybody say hello to our visitor this week, Flat Stanley. He comes from us from Connecticut, and uh, we've had some fun. My wife and I took him to Disneyland, and we showed him all around. Uh, we took some pictures in front of the castle. We also took some pictures in Fantasyland. He saw Dumbo. He got to see pirates, but uh, the photos didn't work in there. It's too dark. But I got to take him to the new Galaxy's Edge. That's right. He flew the Millennium Falcon before you. How do you like that? It's good to know me. So anyway, <laughs> he didn't stop smiling, so I'm imagining he liked it. So anyway, welcome Stanley. Okay, so let's dive into Iago. Now the pose that I chose is from the model sheets, but it's also from the movie posters. So. He's going to be showing his um, his profile, okay? Now, with Iago, he's a small parrot, right? He's He sits on Jafar's shoulder, um, uh, but he has, because he's voiced by the great comedian Gilbert Gottfried, he is a bit of a loudmouth. He's always getting himself into some kind of trouble. So... Um, He's got this great big mouth and these great big eyebrows, which actually come from Gilbert Gottfried himself. He's a little guy, but he's got a big mouth. So we give him uh, Gilbert Gottfried's teeth, his eyebrows, his, uh, his grimace at times. But in the meantime, we're just gonna draw him as he's seen on the poster, because that's how you guys will know him. Um, so let's see, we got this small bit of his head here. You see, I'm just kind of figuring out where his, his brow is going to go and his cheeks. Um, so really roughly right now, because it's the profile, we're not going to draw that, that vertical line, but we're going to draw his horizontal. And it goes in like this. This is going to show me where the bottom of his eye goes, but it's also going to show me where the cheek is so that I can just kind of give him those tufts of feathers here. All right, now from there, figure out his neck and where his body's gonna go. Now his body is shaped like this. Okay, and if you're thinking this body is too big for this, well, that's because I haven't shown you where that beak goes. But let's figure that out. He's going to be in a mid-flight pose. But in this pose, he's kind of also kind of showing off. So those wings are spread out. Like so. And I'm just going to kind of figure out where those fingers on his wings go. And... I know I'm just kind of going off the cuff here. You're just going to have to trust me. The wing is shaped like this, and this wing is shaped like this. And it'll make sense in a minute. Okay. So from here, what I'm going to do, because we've got him on the side, his eye goes here like this. And it's a teardrop shape on its side. Yeah, we'll just turn it a little bit here so it'll make more sense, okay? So his eye is shaped like this. Okay. And then his eyebrow is nice and thick, as is Gilbert's. 
I thought the voice casting on this film was absolutely outstanding because I went to see this movie in the theater in 1992 not knowing anything except who was voicing the genie. So when I was sitting in those seats and I heard this big obnoxious voice coming from that parrot, I lost my mind. And it was at that very moment when I knew I don't just want to be an, a cartoonist and an animator, I want to be a cartoonist and an animator for the Disney company. You don't care about that, you want to draw. So this is how I figure out his beak. It's got a big question mark shaped hook, just like so. Then it comes in a little bit, and then it drops down about halfway, and then it comes back up into his cheek like this, okay? Um, actually, it's very close on the first try. Sometimes with Iago, I have to go by with a couple passes, but that looks pretty good already. So it must be the luck of doing this for you. Okay, so we've got his upper beak done. Now let's go for his bottom beak. Now, we're gonna come down here like this because his mouth is wide open. Throw in a shape like this, a nice U shape like that. Okay, then I'm gonna give a little outer shape like this. You gotta point this part because it's his bottom beak, right? You don't want it too sharp, but it's somewhat pointed. Okay, and then it's a little thicker on this side because it's closer to you. And we're gonna give him just a little hint of a chin. Alright, so if you can see that just fine, you'll see this is nice and thin on this side. It's to a rounded point here, comes in a little bit to his neck, and it's nice and curved on this side. Okay. Um, his teeth are very important because Gilbert Gottfried speaks with his teeth out so far in front of his face. So we're gonna give him, we're gonna give him those teeth in the front, okay? <laughs> I don't wanna blow out your speakers or your eardrums. So I'm gonna limit my Gilbert Gottfried impressions. You're welcome. Okay, so there's his, his set of teeth. And give him his parrot-like tongue here, which is like a shark's fin, right? Like that. I'm gonna give him his pupil right now. As you know, I don't usually do that, but it works with this drawing. So I'm just gonna do that. All right, now with his body. It's pretty quick, it's pretty simple. Give him a neck here. And we're gonna give him three tufts of feathers. Right here on his chest. And give him his belly like that and now I'm going to go on this side give him the other side of his neck and with his wings now with a cartoon character of a bird you can exaggerate wings into looking like um, um, usable hands and arms right because I mean why do we do cartoons if we can't humanize these characters? So, we've got his thumb, and it's shaped like this, okay? Because he's not really using it for anything else but to fly, but he's being expressive with it. Now, I have to admit, I should have turned the paper the other way, so I'm gonna put his feathers down here like this. I'm gonna cheat the angle because of my lack of planning in this drawing. It's always gonna be able to improvise, guys. So we've got these two main uh, fingers out of feathers, right? And then we've got these other ones. They get thinner and shorter as you go in on the wing. 
So we've got these major fingers here. And then the rest of the wing, we make these shorter and wider. You don't want to throw in too many feathers when you're animating a bird because the more feathers you have to draw at 24 frames per second, it's a lot of drawing. So here we go. We've got this wing in like so. And now the other one, we don't have to worry about spacing because I at least cared enough to put the head in the center of the page. And this wing, because of the angle, is going to be a little smaller. So we've got this part of the wing right in here. Okay. And we're going to really make that look like a, a feather, like so. And we're going to draw in the underside of that, just like so. All right. Now, we've got this feather going out like this. Okay. The next one is the one that's thicker, just like on the other side. Maybe a little thicker than the others. And then we'll go in thinner. Now you notice I'm using that line as my guide so that I know how far out to go. And now, just like on this side, we're going to group these other ones in. They're shorter, they're closer together, and they're a little thicker. Okay, and in. Perfect. It's looking good. Now his thumbs, the, the feathers for his thumbs, are blue. So we're going to draw in that line there. We draw in this line here. So when you color it, you'll know this part is blue. Well, the rest of that is that orangey red. Okay, so we've got the body shape in like this. <clears throat> but we didn't figure out where his legs would go. So let's figure that out right now. Because in this pose on the poster, he's in mid-flight, but he's also being a little show-offy. In this pose, Iago is almost telling you, hey, I'm right here. Everybody take a look at me. So, so we've got Iago's legs in like this and his feet. One is off to the side. The other one is going to be closer to you. And it's going to be coming out toward you a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, just to keep a, a, a drawing interesting, you want both feet or both hands or both, both, um, pointing in different directions. So you've got one foot going this way, the other one is coming down here like this. It just keeps a little bit more interest in the sketch than drawing it like a Hanna-Barbera character would just draw them flat out facing in the other directions. Uh, not this one. Okay, so with his tail feathers, we've got the beginning of the tail here where his muscles are. They're going to be behind these reddish orange feathers here at the top. And then when you come to the crux of the tail feathers, you've got three major feathers. You've got the one in the center, which is the thickest. Actually, that's too thick. That's as thick as the whole tail. So because I did that and I see where I went wrong, I'm going to come in a little bit and I'm going to separate these into three. See, we don't, we don't worry about mistakes. We just fix them and we go from there. So the middle tail feather should be about this wide and then we've got one on this side it doesn't go down quite as far stops about there and it's gonna underlap just like that and then we've got this one that overlaps and it's gonna be the same length as the other side okay there you go okay let me just erase here Erase here. 
just like this. What do you think, Stanley? Look good? Yeah, I thought it was pretty good too. Guys, if you are interested in learning how to draw more from Aladdin, I've got a genie video right up here that you'll have to see. And um, hello again. Uh, Flat Stanley really liked the next video I'm working on, which is the painting of a statue of the genie that we both think you're going to like. So on behalf of myself and Flat Stanley from Connecticut, we'll see you guys again later. What did you think, huh? You know, you don't say very much, but you're very expressive, and I like that. But, uh, uh wait, shh, eh, maybe that's why you don't say a whole lot. This is a family show. I, yeah, I know, I know, but shh, shh, I, right. Yes, I remember, yeah, Disneyland was fun. Yeah, mm-hmm, yep.